Do you know the three absolutes in singing a song? Number one, you have to have the right notes. Number two, the notes have to be in tune. And number three, you have to have the right timing and rhythm. If you don't have the right timing and rhythm, the song falls apart. Or maybe you think you have the right timing and rhythm, but it's sloppy. Let's break this down right now. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. 31 years of teaching voice, 43 years of studying voice, all different styles. My students have ranged from ultra beginners all the way through advanced professionals, choral directors, and voice teachers. I always give you serious vocal technique made simple and fun. I'm going to show you how I've worked with rhythmically challenged singers in four steps. Of course, I'm going to demonstrate in different styles and we're going to do a few wild and crazy exercises because as a singer, you must have an open mind and you must be an excellent multitasker. Step one, timing, which is the pulse or beat of the song. You must feel that pulse or beat internally. Every piece of music has a pulse, just like a clock, tick, 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 or your heartbeat. I'm going to keep things as simple as possible in this video because this could be an entire semester college course. So most songs in pop, rock, and other contemporary genres are based on four beats to a measure, four, four time, like this, one, two, three, four. And the easiest example I can show you would be We Will Rock You by Queen. Listen, one, two, three, four. We will, we will rock you, two, three, four. Or all of me loves all of you. Now, other genres often have three beats to a measure, such as amazing grace. Sometimes it's called a waltz tempo, such as Edelweiss, Edelweiss. So I like singers to feel the beat internally by clapping or snapping or tapping your toe as opposed to a metronome. It's okay to practice with a metronome, but ultimately you need to feel it inside or else you run the risk of sounding robotic. Now, some music is in six eighth time. You could just think of that as two measures of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then there are a lot of other more complex time signatures, but we're not gonna go into all of that today. Okay, easy exercise number one. This is to get you to internalize four beats to a measure with numbers like this, counting out the beats. One, two, three, four. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You need to feel the one. That's the beginning of every measure. So let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I can guarantee you, if you can start to feel this internal pulse and know where one is, your rhythmic challenges will start disappearing. Now we're going to go to three beats to a measure like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. You see the accent is on one, two, three, one, two, three. Know where the first beat is. If you want to set that to music, you can easily just do one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that was timing, the basic framework of the song, the pulse or beats. Now we're going to get more challenging because the music, how it fits into those beats or pulses is the rhythm. Now, before we go to any songs, we're going to repeat exercise one, but this time we're going to go 
two measures of four first with the catch breath. Let me demonstrate first. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Breathe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Breathe. Why am I doing this? Well, in order to sing with accurate rhythm, your breaths need to be automatic. And a lot of you are falling behind the beat because you go one, two, three, four, and you take too long to breathe and the band is a whole, you know, beat ahead of you. Can't do that. So your breaths have to be automatic. You better watch my video on the catch breaths if you need help. Okay, let's do it again one more time and don't cheat. Try to go through twice and then take your catch breath. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Breathe. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so stick with me on this because these are the basics of understanding timing and rhythm. We're going to do the same thing now with three beats to a measure like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Breathe. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, here we go. Breathe. One, two, three, one, two, three, breathe. One, two, three, one, two, three. And you should be clapping. The clapping will help you internalize this beat. Okay, exercise three. It's time for you to listen to your song. And I would listen to it under tempo so you can start to feel this internal pulse. And I want you to snap your fingers or tap your foot or clap with a little bit of attitude because the style may actually help you. So I'm going to demonstrate that song. We will rock you again. I'm going to clap, tap my foot at the same time with attitude and I will feel that internal pulse, which by the way is created by the drums. So listen, we will, we will rock you. Boom, ba -choom, choom, boom. We will, we will rock you. But you jump boom. The drums can help you establish the beat. Or you can also count during the rest of the song just to keep that beat going like this. One. What's love got to do with it? Two, three, four, one. What's love? Get it? So what are we doing here? We're actually doing a lot of things besides just learning the beats and learning rhythm. We're actually developing style. We're actually developing phrases. Now, some of you may have more trouble with this than others. For me, I grew up singing classical music, playing classical piano, but in my bedroom, I was singing R&B and soul. You have to immerse yourself in your song so that you can internalize that beat. Now, of course, this isn't just for pop singing. Who said classical singing isn't fun? What about one, two, three. Tulsi. Or Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Or I was dancing with my darling the night they were playing. Feeling this pulse inside will improve your style tremendously. Watch my video on how to sing with style. Okay, so far everything's been easy, but now we're gonna get a little bit more complex. Exercise four, we're going to subdivide the beat because most music is just not cut and dry, okay? Most music is a little bit more complex, like this. We're gonna do one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four while clapping. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. Again, one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four. Now we're gonna do it with three beats to a measure. One, two, three. One and two and three and one and two and three and one and two and three and. You see, if you've gotten this far, you are well on your way to understanding and being able to sing with more accurate rhythm. So first you got to get that pulse and then you got to see how the song fits into that pulse. So now we're back to listening to your song under tempo first. 
so that you can really feel those pulses and then we're ready to try to sing it but you're not going to sing it on the words so many people jump in and they've got to think about the words and then they, they got to struggle with the beat and there's oh what about the larynx and then how about the breath and then what about my resonance you can't do all of that in the beginning when you're understanding the rhythm you're going to sing the song slowly on a nonsensical syllable uh, like I like ba 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 or bub 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 or beep 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 first slowly would be like this beep 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 then when I'm ready and I know everything is clean then one beep 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 two three four one beep beep etc what about bub 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 sitting on the dock of the bay one Watching the tide roll away. Two, three, four. It really helps to take your sheet music or your lyrics and write the beats in if you can. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's time for some fun. While you're doing these exercises, it would also be nice if you could move your body to the beats. The more you can internalize it and move your body, the more likely you'll be able to move your voice when you go to perform the song. Like this. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. I had a student in one of my classes and he was rhythmically challenged. And I asked him if he could waltz first. Then after he was able to waltz, I said, can you waltz and sing at the same time? He got a big kick out of that. And if he's watching this video, he'll know I'm talking about him. Okay, exercise six. We are finally ready to sing the song with words. But please don't jump into singing the song with the words if the rest of the things we've done are not clean. Start under tempo first and you can insert the numbers of the beats if that helps you. For example, For unto us a such child is born. Two, three. Unto us. Two, three. A son is given. Okay, Victoria's tips and troubleshooting. Number one, please keep it simple. Don't do songs that are really complicated when you're still trying to clean up rhythm and timing. You will build more confidence by starting with something easier. So if you're having trouble, ask yourself if perhaps your song is too difficult for you right now. And when you are ready, then you can watch my video on how to sing riffs and runs and also on is the song right for you. Tip number two, you must have that internal pulse. So if you're still having trouble, it's time to slow down, go through all the steps, because if you're having trouble, you probably haven't internalized that pulse. And this is not something that you can do like a robot. You do have to feel it. This comes with practice. And you know, I can always tell who practices smart and who doesn't. People who practice correctly always improve. And lastly, repetition is king. Practice doesn't only mean singing. There's also non-singing practice. Play your song over and over and over again so you get that beat. And the beauty is you get the four beats in one song. When you go to the next song, you'll be a lot better at four beats to a measure or three beats to a measure, whatever it is. Now, I hope you have a structured practice plan. If not, be sure to take a look at my audio training exercise program. Super affordable for beginner through advanced level singers. Plus, we do periodic group classes. It is now time for Victoria's Wisdom. Singing with accurate timing and crisp rhythm will bring your voice and your song to life. Always be sure that you feel that internal pulse. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends. Leave me some comments. Leave me some thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media and keep working on feeling that internal beat, crisp rhythm. And I look forward to seeing everyone again very soon. 